Okay, so my paste paper dried. I'm doing a, um, a softer spine, but it's still, I think this is a watercolor paper. Um, and then this is chipboard. I always mark the center of my spine piece and mark the center of uh, my cover sheet. And then I also put lines for the head and the tail of the book and lines to match up the cover boards. And you need to have a hinge I don't, because if you put your boards right up next to the spine, you're not going to be able to close your book. So um, I'm doing a split cover, so I didn't want to lose graphic here in the spine since I'm covering the spine and the corners with book cloth. Um, so I split my cover sheet in half and overlaid them very carefully. So um, when you go to glue the spine, I, didn't, I don't like to take videos while I'm actually using glue because I've before gotten glue on camera, so <laughs> that's not good. I'm a klutz. Um, you want to make sure that you're very careful not to get glue on your cover paper. Um, the paper did end up a little bit wrinkled in some places, I think because of the water damage and I think um, also just because it, it wasn't like really flat while it was drying, so that's a bummer. Um, so if I was doing this for a client, I definitely would use a sheet of paper that turned out nicer, but since this is for my personal use and I'm doing a demo, I'm not going to take it to heart that it's the end of the world or anything. So. Um, when you do your square, you want to make sure it's nice and even all the way around. When I look at handmade books, the first two things I always look at is, is the square actually square? And is the end sheet separating down here in the hinge? So, Okay, normally I put a piece of buck rum to uh, protect the hinge and reinforce the spine, but I had a piece of 100% open weave linen cloth that uh, isn't starched. And I did wash it first. So I use that instead. I'm going to show you how to do a corner real quick. I've already done three and I just thought, oh, maybe people might like to see how to do that. Um, so I don't have the end sheets on yet. Sorry. And, um, okay. So I've already got my, my corner cut out. I'm going to glue. What's that made of? This is um, book cloth. 100% linen, natural color. So what, just get that on Amazon? Yeah, I found it on Amazon. So this is the linen book cloth. Um, it says three, but when I got it, I only had two sheets. So, I mean, I called Amazon and they refunded a third of my purchase price. Um, and the prices change, so you'll have to just keep an eye out for those deals, I guess. But this is what I used. Um, it's, uh, I think it's good quality. I enjoy using the linen book cloth and uh, I like the natural color because it kind of goes with everything. So, um, but yeah, if you guys were wondering, here it is. So book um, cloth, linen. 100% okay. linen book cloth. So I do half and glue, and then I like to scoot it away from where I just glued, put a little bit more glue on my brush, other half and glue. Oh, be careful not to get glue on the outside of it because it'll make it shiny and you don't want that. Okay. And then I've already marked, I want my corners to be the same on all four sides. So I've marked on the uh, edge where to look for it. So just give me one second to find my marks here. Okay. Press down. And then I have to turn it over my bone folder. Do the edge really good. Smooth out the rest. Back over. Just for good measure. Put a little bit more glue here. Just a little bit here. Scoot it away from where I just put glue down. Bone folder again. I use my fingernail to kind of push it down around the corner of the book. It already has paper on it, so it's going to be a thick corner, but that's okay because we don't want our book to wear out. And then because this corner is little, I to use my fingers to kind of roll it around the edge from the point and then away. I use my bone folder to kind of 
push up and over. And then smooth it out. Push up and over. And then smooth it out. Push that corner down and good. And then because sometimes it can turn out a little bit rounded, I like to mash down on it. So what type of glue is that again? This is Sobo. You can get it at Joanne Fabrics or Hobby Lobby. I don't know about Michael's. I don't really shop at Michael's, but I'm sure you can get it there too. I've seen it at Walmart. Um, it's uh, neutral, so it's not acidic. Um, this is also good if you're going to make like a half wheat paste, half neutral white glue. Um, this is a good glue to use for your mix. So. And, and we can learn how to make that blue paper in some of your other videos? Yeah, I have a paste paper video on my... Um, my channel page so just look for the video that's titled paste paper what's it made of um well it's in, it's, super fine? it's in the video but the paper is mohawk super fine and i mix water a little bit of water up about two squirts worth of my little eyedropper tool here with um maybe i don't know a half dollar sized amount of glue and maybe two good little drops of acrylic paint and i mix all my own colors I don't really like to use colors straight out of the bottle. Um, I feel like that's kind of cheating, but you can. Um, and I did about, oh, what'd you say, like 10 sheets of it today? Yeah. So uh, I usually do a bunch when I do it instead of just one or two pages. So, um, yeah. Cool. Okay, I took my book out from under, or my cover out from under pressure, um, and I leave a tab on each end. And cut straight down the middle. I'm going to do a tab in cover and then cover the first fly leaf with an end sheet. So I just thought I'd show you what it looked like after it came out, and it looks pretty flat to me. So I'm super pleased with it. Check back soon.